Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas, and it's December 23rd. Only two more days until Christmas morning. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And I hope you've had as much fun going through this Christmas devotional as I have. I've been here with you since December 1st, and I'll continue to be with you till December 25th. Today's reading is called, How Can I Be a Child of God? And our verse is 1 John 3, and we're going to read verses 1 and 2. It says, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. And what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. In just a few short days, we're all going to celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Son of God. And the Bible says he is the firstborn of all creation, and that he is the one who holds the universe in his hands, and that without him, nothing that is made could have been made. In fact, Jesus came here to earth so that all of humanity could become sons and daughters of God. We all get to share this inheritance from the Father, and we all get to receive his blessings. That's the good news. God wants to adopt us, and his son is the key. In fact, the gospel message is so powerful that it breaks down all social barriers, all economic barriers, racial barriers, gender, you name it, the gospel is good news to all. In Jesus, there is no wealthy or poor, slave or free. No one is in and nobody is out. There are no earthly advantages. Anyone can be a child of God. If that sounds like the life you want, then I would suggest that you bow your head and pray this prayer with me and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Dear God, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, so that I could be your friend. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being with me all my life, even when I didn't know it. And I realize I need a Savior to set me free from sin, from myself, and from all the habits and hurts and hang-ups that mess up my life. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I want to repent and live the way you created me to live. Be the Lord of my life. Save me with your grace. I want to learn to love you, trust you, and become everything that you made me to be. Thank you for creating me and choosing me to be a part of your family. And right now, by faith, I accept the gift of your Son. Fill me with your peace and your assurance so that I can be a peacemaker and help me to share this message of peace with others. And we ask this in your son's name, I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Please come back tomorrow and join us for our December 24th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go. I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.